U.S. officials tonight openly challenging Vladimir Putin over a dangerous missile threat. General Paul Selva of the Joint Chiefs of Staff says the Russians have deployed a land-based cruise missile, violating a treaty between the U.S. and Russia signed 30 years ago. The system itself presents a risk to most of our facilities in Europe, and we believe that the Russians have deliberately deployed it in order to pose a threat to NATO and to uh, facilities within the NATO area of uh, responsibility. From the Kremlin today, an emphatic denial. Putin's spokesman saying, quote, we disagree and reject any accusations on this point. The prohibited cruise missile is likely similar to a permitted ship-based version. U.S. officials told the New York Times the new missile is called the SSC-8, that the Russians have got two battalions, one at a test site, the other deployed somewhere else in Russia. Cruise missiles do have certain capabilities, ballistic missiles don't. Uh, they're maneuverable, they hug the ground. You know, they're a bit like an airplane, right? So it means that missile defenses, ineffective as those are against a lot of ballistic missiles, but they're even less effective against cruise missiles. The alleged missile treaty violation could be the latest in a series of aggressive moves by Putin. In recent weeks, U.S. officials say he sent a spy ship to patrol in international waters just off the coast of Delaware. And Russian warplanes buzzed a U.S. Navy destroyer in the Black Sea, a move U.S. officials called unsafe and unprofessional. The Russians denied it. The signal is the Russians can do this. We're back. We're important. We're a great power. We can challenge you. And analysts say Putin wants the U.S. and its allies to back off his doorstep. He would like Russia to have a sphere of influence. He would like the United States and other powers not to interfere in the territories that were once part of the Soviet Union.